Yeah, fuck. Right. Stretch that shit, yeah. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> My tazzy, da -da. <laughs> we are back today with some more Overlord. Yes. Yes. Day, Asha. I'm Sean. <laughs> We gotta get you like a longer name. Sean jumps high. <laughs> <laughs> she can't hear me because she got headphones on. <laughs> All right, so boom. Last episode, we killed the shit out of Clementine. Um, yes. And then we went to... Uh, where the fuck did we go? It was... What's if I shout here? Yes, 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 yes. turned yes, yes, evil. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. I was like, what the yeah. fuck? I know we went somewhere. <laughs> and that dude died by getting absorbed in the absorbed in the boobs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was he? Th I'll never get over that. I'll never get over that. That's like the worst death of the show. This is the stupidest guy I've ever met. but Or yeah. seen. But, yeah. So, now we're about to see if Shaltir is evil or not. It's the gist of it. We got to go find her and save her. Or whatever it is. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the hell's bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Check out our Patreon and our social media. Join the Discord. I'd like to thank you, Mithril level adventurers, for taking time out of your busy schedule to meet with me. Now let's get down to business. Mithril. Damn, he got promoted a lot, didn't he? They claim it was a vampire. She ambushed them in the forest outside of town. Here's what we know. The monster has blonde hair and a large mouth containing very sharp fangs. Mm. Describe yep. to a T. If this creature is indeed a vampire, we need to keep it from entering the city at all costs. That vampire is known as Ponyo Pinyunko. What? What? Ponyo Pinyunko. So is this honey. Was well, that the guy who made it? The player? I, think it you're familiar I guess. With this monster. Indeed, I have quite a history with it. I've been tracking her for years. She's powerful. Not just any man could compete with her strength. But my team will get rid of this nuisance for you, no problem. I'm going to. You'll just slow me down. How dare a newbie like you talk to me like uh, that? How Bruce. dare you? We don't even know how powerful this vampire really is. Knock it off, Ickvarge. There's Ickvarge. No such hostility. Bitch ass name. If you must. But I warn you, it means certain death. Oh, he's so fucking cool, bro. I love his armor way more than his usual outfit yeah me too she's still standing there yeah Shaltier. Shaltier, answer your master you disrespectful little way be quiet uh, <laughs> can this really be happening what is that a super rare ring it's known as shooting star three times that's a, a day, cool fucking wing the wearer cast the shooting star I hope she's impressed. Wish upon a star. <laughs> yeah, like twinkle twinkle little star. Powerful. You've never seen super tier magic. No. Super tier? This guy is just everything. Using it requires a certain skill set. I should be able to release shout here in no time flat. Damn, that's cool as shit. Your compassion knows no bounds. Shooting star, Mowring, cure Shaltir of all her status effects. I command you. But he could use it three times a day. Oh, what? Since someone here is stronger than super tier magic. Oh shit. He shook. Yeah. Fuck he's... this. <laughs> Wait the fuck out of here. Damn it. What is that? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have acted that way in front of you. Did something go wrong with the spell, my lord? The ring was definitely activated correctly. However, the wish was not granted. Only one thing is capable of withstanding a super tier magic spell. A world level item. Oh, better. Lord? The security level oh, shit. needs to be raised to maximum. Also, every guardian needs to return home immediately. Excuse me. Lord oh Lord shit. Lord. What the fuck is happening? This is rich as fuck. <laughs> Word. Yes. I couldn't enter without the ring of Einzul Gone. It is the only key. A security feature. 
We are headed to the mausoleum. It's not what far. the fuck? Mausoleum? I didn't know there was one. Are you aware of Pandora's actor? Of course. I know of his existence, but we've never actually met. Pandora's actor. His power and intelligence rivals my own. Created hmm. by the masters to be the one true guardian of the treasury. If I'm not mistaken, you designed him yourself, my lord. Oh, shit. Yes. Oh, that's, that's right. really cool. I want to see this. He is also responsible for keeping our finances in check. Uh, more tabula? Is that really you? Wait a second. It's an imposter. Who are you? And why are you disguised as my creator? You may have copied his appearance and aura perfectly, but I was able to see past your facade. Pandora's actor. Change your form. Hello, darling. <laughs> nice Hello. Me. Greetings to my creator, Lord Momonga. I love the yellow and orange. Yeah. What do I owe this honor? I'm in need of some world items. Oh. World item! <laughs> Changing the world with immense power! Showing the greatness of the mighty supreme beings! These sacred trees. This guy's a nut. This dude is so <laughs> lame. <laughs> what is that shit? You are correct. I need billion blades, Aegeus chalice, avarice and selfless, and depiction of nature and society. Address me as Ains from now on. I'm known as Ains Old Go. Oh, what a great name. <laughs> it fits oh. the wonderful man who created me, Lord Ains. Oh, no. <laughs> I wonder how hardcore they're judging me because of this doofus. <laughs> what the fuck? Just look at him. What the hell was I thinking when I designed his personality? At least his military outfit is still rad. It's still you rad. My leash? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lord. Be careful now, Lord Eines. And you too, lovely ladies. What did you call me? Please forgive me. I can't control my tongue. Not around such beautiful flowers. I will talk to you with pride. <laughs> you Pause, bro. That I am the Lord who created you, correct? In fact, I take the deepest of pride in. Then, as your maker, I demand that you stop with all the ridiculous saluting. That's an order, you hear me? What? Okay. <laughs> what? Here's the problem. It's unnecessary. Your outfit works since it shows your strength. But all the saluting makes you seem unstable. Das ist mein Gotteswill! Oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> speak German in front. That's another direct order. This is more embarrassing than riding a giant hamster. Oh my god. Sorry to keep you waiting. Nobody is able to teleport to the treasury without possession of the guild ring. However, you can't enter this specific room with it on, or the golems will sense intruders and attack. These golems look familiar. Are they based off the likenesses of the supreme beings, my lord? How perceptive of you. Indeed, I had them made to honor the memory of my old comrade. This place is fucking huge. You called this place a mausoleum, so then does that mean the other supreme beings are dead and that's why there are statues of them here? To my knowledge, they are still alive. Each of them gifted me their supplies. Damn. Those items should do the trick. Pararoncino told me to sell them all, but I just couldn't do it. I wasn't ready. That's a sick fucking costume, bro. They need to make this a game. That's the biggest bullshit I've ever heard, by the way. <laughs> no MMO player would ever give away all their shit, even if the game was shutting down. It's like, nah, it's mine. Yeah. I'm keeping it. <laughs> do you see that spot over there? That's where I'll put a statue of myself one of these days. Please don't talk like that. I can't bear to hear it. It mm. tears my heart. <sighs> Bro, he needs to put on a skin suit and take care of that. <laughs> Alberto, there is a reason I won't promise you that I'll come back to Nazarek. I'm going to fight Shaltir by myself. Oh, fuck. I won't promise because I'm not sure I'll survive the battle. Please rethink this. It's true that Sheltier has to be dealt with. She's strong, but she's not that strong. She is. But for me, 
Don't go. You have a yeah, wonder if army under your command. The Guardians are stronger than him. Chance against mm. the forces of Nazari. I need to prove to myself that I'm a competent leader, worthy of my title. <sighs> it was foolish of me not to consider the existence of world-level items in this new land. Hmm. Of course they would exist if other Yggdrasil players are here. I completely overlooked this. Not a sign of a good leader, is it? Your destiny is to rule over Nazari. Be all right. You're still kind of broken, Maybe so you can make mistakes. We'll do everything we can to support you. Shelter may be bait. The enemy could be waiting for us to attempt a rescue. And if they pounce, I'd rather be taken alone than risk having my people captured and maybe killed. The final reason is, I may have to exterminate Shaltir. Mm. In that case, let me come with you. I'll be the one. Who <laughs> I'll do it myself. <laughs> you honestly think you could beat her? Uh, Out of everyone who resides in Nazarek, I'm the only one that can overpower her. What? It is true. But She's that strong? It's about time you learned why I am called the Supreme Overlord. You'll see that I was given that name for a reason. I will not be defeated <laughs> by a person's abilities alone. Remember, Pararon Chino and I used to be very close friends. I will win. Mm-hmm. I understand your situation now. Let's go, Ainz. Please, promise me that you will return. And I will no longer try to stop you. If that's what you need, then I promise you I will come back alive. But first, I have to defeat Shaltir. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, a bit of a nothing episode, honestly. It was mostly uh, exposition and setup. We learned uh, that the enemy has some world items. Mm -hmm. And uh, Irons apparently has his own. Twenty, so, I guess. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> going to arm everyone with them. <laughs> yeah, and apparently Shaltir is the strongest. What the fuck? Yeah, which is uh, interesting because he's hyping her up like he could beat her, mm. uh, like she could beat him rather. Mm -hmm. So she must be really strong. Like fucking ridiculously strong but i wonder if it's like when she's in that nasty looking form or like yeah i don't know because that must be her hot like her high powered state is when she's in that nasty yeah yeah disgusting yeah. form but yeah man i um the episode was still good in my opinion but there was a there was just a lot of exposition and setup yeah so i'm hoping yep. this next episode is like all right the next two episodes actually i hope the next two episodes are wearing the shit we're gonna find out who these people are and we're gonna fight Shaltir. I'm pretty hyped because the show is really good. I'm super interested yeah. in the show. But you also right, by the way, if I was in an MMO and the game was about to shut down, I'm still not giving you my items. I only played uh, a couple MMOs, but no, no one ever gives anything away. You know, you've grinded years sometimes mm -hmm. for all these items. And it's just like, I'm keeping them. Even yeah. if they're never moving anywhere, they're staying on my account. <laughs> Smart. Even, but even certain games though, they don't even allow you to get rid of your stuff. Mm. Like certain, certain items you can't give away. Like you have to like buy any auction or some shit. Like you could sell it, but yeah. I don't think you give it yeah. away. But I, I could feel be like that's more of a, that's more of like a modern MMO thing. I think like the old school ones, like, I mean, well, like RuneScape, MapleStory, WoW. I'm oh, pretty God. sure there's a lot yeah. of trading going on. So. Julie yeah, played the shit out of WoW and RuneScape, so if anybody would know, it's her. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the hell's bells. Oh, so you don't miss out any of our videos, check out our Patreon on our social media. <laughs> Join the Discord, and we will see you in the next one. Peace out.